I failed. It's the first time I've failed since um, going down the coast of Nicaragua, Papagayos, and I had to turn around and run back to Corinto. I was heading north from um, Port Dixon today, and uh, wind came 20 knots on the nose, and, that's, and it was against current, so it was really steep, sharp seas. <laughs> this is bashing, coming to a complete stop. Boosh! Um, just one wave after another after another, and finally I turned around and uh, ran back towards um, Port Dixon. Uh, of course, as I after I turned around, the wind kind of clocked around, and the seas were still coming from that direction. So even had I been had I stayed on course, I would have had the wind wouldn't have been on the nose anymore. But the seas were so big at that point. It would have taken hours for them to come down. So I ran back to this place. This is called uh, PD, PD Marine World. And it's like, it's like I'm, I'm, I'll show you. I'm anchored in the projects. Like this is Caprini Green, South Chicago. Look at what, what's surrounding me right here. These, these places look nice, nice from a distance, but you can tell they're, they're a little run down. And I don't know. Anybody actually lives here, but my second attempt at um, leaving Port Dixon. This is that PD World Marina here. I'm leaving. Well, it was a good stay. I didn't do anything yesterday except relax and recover from my disastrous day the day before. So, here we go again, 145 miles to Pancor. And again, my thought is that I'll sail through the night. Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning, so... I don't think I have enough time to get anywhere to anchor, even though I wanted to, so... Two knots of current with me, so I'm trying to give the engine a break, but damn it, there's just not enough wind. Hear the sails? I mean, I'm still doing, I mean, I'm still doing four and a half knots, but. God, there was just like five knots more of wind. Sailing now under just the Genoa, finally enough wind to keep the sail full. Helps that the seas calm so it don't roll, it doesn't, you know, uh, lose its wind on the roll. The downside is, is the current now has changed against me, so um, I'm only doing about three and a half knots, but I'm just going to go like this and enjoy, just enjoy the quiet, you know after motoring most of the day and the hot sun. It's about 5.30 at night. And I'm going to sail through the night one last time. I keep saying that one last time. But This should be the last time for a while, I hope. Yeah, the wind's coming up a little bit more now too, so that's good.
1 a.m. I'm sailing slowly, trying to sail slowly because there's fishing boats all over the place. The last thing I want to do is catch one of their drift nets. Not that actually see this uh, thunderstorm over to the starboard side. It's, uh, it's kind of filling the whole sky over there. That's over. Um, Sumatra, Indonesia, um, and then Malaysia's on on the starboard side over here. I just want to sleep. <laughs> I'm really tired, but I don't dare because uh, well, I just saw lightning hit the hit the water. Because um, I I don't want to hit a fishing boat or get tangled in a net. So. Never-ending supply of fishing boats out here. The problem is at night is you have no idea what they're doing. You don't know if they're trailing a net. You don't know if they're laying a net out. You don't know if they're an anchor. You don't know if they're... I mean, you have no idea what they're doing. I've got two of them right in front of me. I got... Jesus, man. I didn't run into anything though, so that's a big plus. I'd like to not spend another night out here in the Malacca Strait. It's one thing with the shipping. The shipping is you can handle because uh, they all got AIS, you know. And they're all on a predictable course. They hold their course. Their speed. But these little fishing boats. Yeah, there's some of them aren't little either. They just have no idea what they're doing. Want to see an abrupt tide change? Check this out. Look at the difference between the um, dark blue water and the light green water. It's just like a like a border.
I made it to Pancor Island. The marina is behind me over here. But you have to go in there at high tide, and right now it's low tide, so I have to wait till uh, to wait a couple hours before I can go in. So I'm anchored off the village over here, which is uh, pretty interesting. I am so bloody tired <laughs> from no sleep last night, though. <laughs> I want to go lay down. I'm, maybe I should. I've got an hour and a half. Or maybe I will do that. Let me rest for a couple hours. Glad to be here. It was a long, long trip.